and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Invader, guys. I'm going to go over what you should be doing before the Golden Ticket promo does end up dropping. Now, it will be dropping two days from now, which is April the 9th. Now, guys, they are going to be dropping three Golden Tickets. Remember, originally, we were going to be getting two Golden Tickets, but now we will be getting three, which is kind of a big improvement on that because, quite honestly, two would have been kind of lackluster. I feel like three are bound to probably get at least one you like each week. So, like, let's say week one, they had dropped Josh Allen or, like, they dropped... Um, Kevin LeBlanc and Josh Allen, you're like, eh, that's not too great, but if the third one is maybe tight end Calvin, then you're like, okay, there's someone to work with here. And out of three, I feel like there's better odds to pull them if there's more than three packs. Now, see, I'm, I have this theory that when it comes to pulling things, it's all based on a percentage of getting a specific type of card rather than there being more cards. Like, I think if there's 10 limited times in packs, I don't think that increases your odds of pulling a limited time because at the end of the day, the chance of pulling a limited time are 0.001 or whatever it is so you understand the point but obviously there's a better chance of you getting a high pull and it being limited time but the chance of you getting a high pull is still is still equally as low so i don't think it's going to really affect the chance of you pulling a golden ticket but i do know it will make you me a little bit happier knowing there's gonna be three not to mention the biggest thing about it is that it will only last about six to seven weeks to drop all the golden tickets as opposed to uh 10 weeks which it does greatly help because prior we weren't going to be getting golden tickets done until beginning of june now at least we won't be, we'll be getting them done probably like beginning of may so it does cut, cut it back like about a month about three weeks worth depending on how they drop the last two so i'm pretty excited for that but guys before we get into today's video go down below make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification boys come join the family make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already like i said comment down below if you need any help now guys let's head on over to the auction block so you guys some prices regarding golden tickets because some things will be taking hits I'm gonna go over what coin stack you're gonna want. I'm gonna go over what you kind of might might be taking a hit depending on what drops. So let me break out my golden ticket list because that's obviously important. In terms of the golden tickets, guys, we've got a lot coming out. We have 20 of them. Obviously not all at once, but depending on the way they drop these could really alter what ends up happening to the market. So there are a total of, I believe, five quarterbacks. Can we expect one tomorrow? I'd have to say so. Just because we're getting three. I think we're getting at least one quarterback. Because if not, they're going to be having double quarterback drops some week. Like, if they don't drop a quarterback the first two weeks, we're going to damn near be having a double. We're going to be having, we're gonna have too many quarterbacks. So, I personally think that we're getting probably at least one quarterback on two days. Which, what's today? Today's, today's Monday or today's Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, so we're getting to Thursday. So, and we're going to be getting a quarterback. So, more than likely, guys, depending on the quarterback that's dropped, we should finally be seeing the price of... We're going to see Cunningham come down because they're all mobile. So Cunningham should come down. We're going to be seeing Mahomes finally, finally come down as well as Lamar Jackson. Now, as you see, Lamar's already getting cheaper as the night training. People are probably starting to prepare for the drop of a brand new... Uh, or some of the golden tickets. Because think, think about it this way, right? So Mahomes is 725. If we get Cam Newton... It all depends on the stuff. Cam Newton might be one of the few that doesn't affect too much. He's not going to be the fastest. He's not going to be the greatest thrower. He's not going to be better than Pat Mahomes. He's not going to be better than Lamar. Now, could they make him super glitchy? Guys, there is potential that the game just goes all out and makes his cards so insane. But on a typical base, Cam Newton typically has decent throwing stats, decent speed. Never crazy at anything. But we have to obviously say Cam Newton will lower the price. Won't kill them, but it'll lower the price. Michael Vick, if it was him, which it won't be, but if it was Michael Vick, he would abolish, he would de de demolish the market. It'd be over, like, he would destroy the market because of how crazy he'd probably end up being. If it's Lamar Jackson, the market's dropping. If it is, if it's RG3, the market's dropping, and I'm going to be one of the ones that gets it. So remember, if it's a quarterback, these quarterbacks are dropping. If it's Mike Evans' co cornerback, he could potentially drop the price of Night Trailing because Evan, Mike Evans' cornerback is going to probably have a typical, uh, similar build to Night Trailing. He's going to be just as fast, if not faster. Going to be better press, better man in zone. Going to be better jumping, better agility. He's going to be four inches taller. He's going to be like a Night Trailing without the hip power. He could be super, super good in my opinion if they do end up dropping that Mike Evans nice and early. Muhammad's new quarterback probably won't impact much, which is why I'm scared they might drop in week one just to get some of the bad ones out of the way. Because Muhammad's new quarterback is not going to be a quarterback you really want to use. So I don't really know if that's something I'm excited for. 
And then Trey Waynes. Trey Waynes could bring down the cornerback market a little bit. It depends how they make him. Typically, he's a physical, speedy corner. If they make him, if they make his stats right, he could threaten uh, Byron Jones a little bit because he's going to be super, super fast with probably some physical stats close to him. Then we got like the original list, which the original list, guys, to be quite honest with you. So the, the, some of those right there that I was going over were some of the extra ones. And you guys do know that the extra ones, they're going to be cool. Those are the last ones we found out. But some of the banger ones are some of the early ones that we did find out about. So as far as wide receiver goes, guys, what's going to even impact the market even more is guys that weren't even out yet. So as you guys know, quarterbacks, we have like a 98, we have a 97. So like we, we already kind of like felt that already a little bit. But now guys like wide receiver, we really haven't gotten any great wide receivers that are high overall. So when 99 Julio drops, he's going to be crazy expensive. That's another thing, guys. Cam Newton and them, they might not be crazy expensive if they're not insane, only because we have a homes already, so there's some options. Guys like Julio is going to be the only wide receiver in this category right now. So guys like Julio is going to be super, super, super expensive. He's going to kill the lower wide receiver market because everyone's going to be wanting him. That's everyone's going to be new wide receivers. So everyone's going to be selling off maybe their Calvin. And then we're going to get free safety Calvin, Ted and Calvin. But the market's going to be impacted overall so just stay stay ready for that guys if you have some positions that you plan to change like you know you're not keeping him let's say you have saquon at running back and you know you're getting barry maybe sell him now let's say you have a guy like pat let's say you're pat mahomes i'm not selling Mahomes because they're not by the way but let's say you have mahomes and you're like guys if you have mahomes and you want to say that you're not going to keep him you're like i'm getting the next golden ticket quarterback maybe sell him now because when golden ticket quarterbacks start coming out it might not be week one, so maybe you have some time on that. Maybe you do. It's up to you. It's a chance game. You won't lose too much again, but 725 is a pretty decent haul right now for him. One of the highest prices he's been in a while, so that's up to you guys. Now, as far as the corn stack going to want, I'm going to be building up my... I'm going to probably sell some of my binder pretty soon. Corn stack you want. So I'm going to give you guys the estimated coin count for probably most of these cards. Now, remember, this is all random because we don't know what they'll start at, but let's do it on a scale like this. Now, it's not going to be... So let's say if I call a player 500K, he's one of the cheaper ones. If I call a player a million, he's one of, the, one of the good ones. If I call a player like 1.5 to 2 mil, one of the great ones. That's not what they're going to be. So let's say my 2 mil could be their 4 mil. But if I say 500K, that means he's going to be one of the cheapest ones. So just keep that, just keep that in. Oh, or maybe I'll just tell you guys by cheap. So free safety Calvin, going to be decently, going to be mid-range. Not going to be expensive, not going to be cheap. He's going to be somewhere in between. Tight end Calvin, depending on his speed, could be high mid-range if he has fast speed. Lamar, going to be expensive. It's gonna be expensive, guys. So prepare your coins. For, remember, for all these guys, prepare your coin stack. Now, if I say expensive, you need at least 1.5 mil, more than likely. If I say mid range, you need at least one mil. If I say if I say cheap, you're gonna need at least 600k. Not initially, but eventually. So it really just depends. Next, Zach Gentry. I think he's gonna be cheaper. I think he's gonna be cheap. I think by name, people aren't gonna to want to be spending a million coins on him. Josh Allen. I think he's gonna be mid range. I don't think he's gonna be crazy cheap. But he's not gonna be crazy expensive just because he's gonna have a big arm. Decent accuracy and decent speed. He's not going to be crazy fast as well. So I don't expect anything too crazy out of a Josh Allen card. Brian Burns, with that speed, he might be one of the... He's going to be mid-range expensive. He's not going to be expensive. He's not going to be mid. He's going to be somewhere between. So he's going to take probably a million coins. Adrian Peterson, it all depends on his speed. It's going to be all on his speed, personally. Adrian Peterson could be hit or miss. If he has a 96 speed and you can get that thing to a 99 or whatever, with all the power he's going to have and just being Adrian Peterson and they give him a Viking with card R2 on that thing, it's going to be expensive. He only gets like a 94 or 5 speed. Can only get to a 97. Gonna be gonna be on the cheaper side. Michael Vick going to be expensive. One of the more expensive ones because he's probably gonna be an end, he's probably gonna be the end game quarterback. The speed. He has a strong arm, the speed, and the accuracy, and the juking, and maybe even human joystick. Gonna be end game. RG3. It all depends. It really just all depends. I think just off name value, he's gonna be expensive automatically off the rip. But I don't know if over time he might convert to like a mid range. It all depends on the throwing stats. Julio gonna be expensive gonna be the best wide receiver in madden if they get it all depends though too like if they give him like a 96 speed he's the wide receiver because he's gonna get to probably 99 kemp powered up kemmed up sorry not powered up but and they only give him like a 95 and he can only get to like a 97 or 98 then it's like eh, he's missing the last that last bit to end game out there but he's gonna be expensive to at least mid-tier expensive Zeke Elliott, I think he's going to be mid-tier. Mid-tier the highest because he's not going to be fast enough. Now, could he be? If they, okay, if they give him a 97 speed or 96 speed, it is golden ticket, so I don't know if they're going to make him like just everyone's going to be crazy. But I think he's going to be mid-tier. It all depends on his speed, though. If his speed's great, if his speed gets 99, whole different ball game. Could it's expensive, but if it's not, it depends. Cravon LeBlanc, I think he's going to be mid-range at highest. He could have really good stats. He might be one of those like budget kind of cornerbacks you pick up because people are going to be underselling him for his name, and you can just get a beast. Kelvin Benjamin, cheap he's gonna be one of the cheaper ones 
He's gonna be slow. He's gonna be slow. I don't think he's gonna be that great. And then Cam Newton, gonna be mid-range to expensive, somewhere between there because it all depends on the speed they give him in his throwing stats. They give him a Lamar-ish build where he can run. No, I don't even. Let's say they give him a 94 speed with like a 90 truck, a 99 break tackle, and 90 carry. That's 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 something different because now he's not gonna fumble as much. He can truck people over. A stiff arm and good throwing. Then he's useful. But guys. That's about it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.